90% of method students don't know how to answer this problem, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a minute. In this case, we have this polynomial function. We don't know any information about the function in terms of its points, but what we need to do is sketch a rough derivative of it. The first thing that I do is I note down where the x-intercepts will be on my derivative. That'll be wherever I have a zero gradient on my original function. So I have one here, which is the turning point. I have one here, which is another turning point, and I've found the x-intercept, which is roughly there. And I also have a point of inflection, which is also a zero gradient point as well. Now, what I need to do as well is find when my gradient is going to be positive or negative based on the shape of my original function. So it starts off as a positive gradient, transitions to a negative after the turning point, transitions back to a positive after the second turning point, and then remains positive after the point of inflection. Now, the last thing I need to do is just note down where my turning points and point of inflections are, because this is really important. Turning points become x-intercepts, regular x-intercepts on my derivative curve. And points of inflection on my original function become turning points on my derivative curve, but are also turning points on the x-axis. And I'll show you how that looks on the graph now. So we start off with a positive gradient, therefore we're going to be in the positive region, and we're going to curve down to the negative region after passing through that intercept point. So something along the lines of that. Then you can see here, I need another intercept there, so I'm going to curve back around to pass through that intercept point. Again, you can see that the turning points became normal x-intercepts. Now, point of inflection is a bit different because I remain positive on either side of my point of inflection. So what I need to do is I need to have the turning point just scraping against the x-axis and then bouncing back up again. So something along the lines of this. Now, again, the rough shape has to be good, except the, you know, like the individual features doesn't really matter as long as you have correct intercepts, correct curve, as well as a correct shape as well. Now, another double check that I like to do is this kind of resembles a quintic or a fifth degree polynomial because we have a turning point as well as a point of inflection on the x-axis, which makes five degrees for our polynomial. Now, you can see my derivative looks roughly like a fourth degree polynomial because I have three turning points or three stationary points. Now, that makes sense because the fifth degree polynomial became a fourth degree polynomial after differentiating using the power rule. So that's my double check to make sure that I've done this right.